You can also create properties that blueprints can bind to, so event dispatcher properties. So you do view property blueprint assignable, but you need a event dispatcher variable. And so you can declare a new event dispatcher type name with a macro. So we'll do the declare dynamic multicast delegate one parameter. We'll give it a name. So the F, so this is the type name. So this is like n32, but for a delegate. And then since it is one parameter, we'll have it up be a parameter of being a bool. And we'll give that bool a name. We'll just call that the bool arc so that the blueprint can know what the bool's name is. So now that we've declared the type, what we can do is we have our U property. We'll say the type name and we'll say our code event dispatcher. So that is the variable name. So now because it has this property blueprint assignable, even blueprints can bind to this event and be updated when this event broadcasts. Compile that. And so you can see that we can bind our event. We can bind event to our code event dispatcher. Like that up on begin play, and we've created an event to call whenever that event broadcasts. We will continue exploring the basics of view properties in a follow up video. Thank you.